going on everybody welcome to episode one of our leon career mode and today we are going to do a couple of things we are going to check out the team check out some other things around the club and then we are going to go ahead and do some transfers perhaps and then we are going to play our first game of the season as well in monaco here as you can see now um since there's only about a month left until the new FIFA comes out, it comes out on the 8th or something like that, but I'm able to play it on the 1st. Since it comes out on the 1st, I kind of want to get through two seasons of Leon, so what we're going to do going forward is we normally play our three games. We'll play our three games, um, and then we will sim one as well. Just the worst team at the time in that episode, that's the one we are going to end up simming. So we're going to go about it like that. But as you can see... Our Champions League group, Odense, Leipzig, and Benfica. Leon, of course, having a good Champions League year, getting it to the semifinal, but in the end knocked out by Bayern, which they had some chances in that game to take the lead. It didn't happen, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. We've got two years here, so hopefully we can at least equal that at some point. And this is the team I've selected so far to go forward with this um, Dembele and then Terrier, Depay and Triore right in behind and then Gimaris, Awar I'm actually going to swap these two and then Dubois, Anderson, Denier and Marcel and then of course the bench being uh, Ikambi, Cornet, Rene Adelaide, Kakare, Mendes, Jean Lucas and Marcelo and then we've got some other players down here who are pretty good of course Tussar and then Tete and then there are a lot of kids down here that are actually turn into really good players. Bard, Kalulu, um, Guiri, they all, a lot of these turn into really good players. There isn't a player on this team that doesn't get to at least 76 overall, I believe. So there are a lot of good kids on here. A lot of kids I want to end up growing. Guiri, um, Bard, and Kalulu especially. So we'll see. There are three players on the transfer list at the moment, or two of them. Uh, Raphael and then... Because we have Dubois and Tete, of course. And then I put Marcel on the list because this is a place I want to upgrade. Um, and we already would have a backup in... Um, where is that lad? There he is, Kone. He would be the backup left back for the new left back we bring in. And then I, want, I haven't tried Yang and Biwa yet. But he's not someone I want to necessarily keep around. Older, not that great. Um, and I do want another center back as well. So we can actually take a look at Yang and Biwa. Contract expiring. Yeah, so we'll get him out um, if we can. And then Raphael. And then I've already added um, Marcel to the list. Bard is someone I want to grow in, into that second spot. So, you know, we'll see how that works out. Let's sim this match to begin with, though. And see what happens. A 3-0. No injuries. That's what we're looking for. Rene Adelaide is actually part of this team. And he doesn't go back on loan to Arsenal. Which I believe he's at at the moment. So we're in a pretty good spot. As I said, four transfers. I want to look at right wing perhaps. And then center back. I want another good center back as well. And then left back. Those are the three positions I'm looking at. Midfield, we're in a really, really good spot in terms of... Um, what we want to do in midfield. There are some good players there. We'll look at it in a moment. And then Terrier, we will try that. I really want to grow the young kids, though. Where is Bard? And then two more. Who are we looking at here? Um, Kakare and Jean Lucas, I imagine, will be the couple there. We can get his attacking going up a little bit i like our midfielders to go forward and then kakare as well turns into a really good player also so those are how we are going to do things as we go forward but as we said the squad there are some really good really good players here we're good up front dembele he can be and then of course depot can play up there if need be i believe um triore can as well maybe if we need him to um on the left side terry and then um, that's kind of it, isn't it, on the left? We may want to bring in a left winger or someone 
else as well. I believe Cornet can play on that left side, so Cornet could probably be the backup. And then on the right, Rene Adelaide can play there, but getting another right winger in would probably be a good idea. And then in midfield, we have a lot of talent. Um, though Depay could also have Rene Adelaide play behind him, but in midfield, we have talent. Alwar, Gamaris, Kakare, um, Mendes can play there. Jean Lucas can play there. Adelaide, uh, Rene Adelaide can play there. Toussart, of course, a deeper type of player, but a really good option. Um, at the right back spot, Dubois, of course, and Tete. And then we can also grow K uh, Kalulu. And then on the left side, we're looking to bring in a left back, if not Marcel, and then of Kone and um, Bard we can grow. Um, Guiri, of course, the third option. And then at center back, this is where I want to improve. We have Yoki Manderson, Denier, both really good center backs and turn into good center backs or better center backs. We have Marcel is older, slow, someone I want to improve on, and then Yang and Biwa, who's kind of in the same spot. So I'd like to bring in another center back to help out. But we're in a good spot. We can take a look at players I've looked at or shortlisted at left back Tagliafico and then Matthias Oliveira, center back Ajer, Kurt Zuma, bring him back to France, Kanate, and then Gabriel, of course, who's off to Arsenal in real life. And then on the right, we've looked at Stangs, Francisco Trincao, and Embuemo. We shall see what happens and what we can do with it. In terms of money, we have $36 million to spend and a decent amount of wage budget. You can We can probably move that wage budget over quite a bit. Probably around here. Probably be around $42 million to spend for the moment. Plus, you know, we have a couple of other players who are ready to go. Um, Marcel's happy that he's leaving. Excited about the future, Anthony Lopez. And then we can take a look at a couple of different things. Our vision and expectations, scout report, and then introducing himself there. But let's take a look at the objectives so far. Youth development. There are plenty of really good players. Grow one youth academy player by at least 10 overall points. Sign two youth players to the senior team in the same season they were scouted. Play them in 10 matches. So, I mean, really bringing in the kids is important here. Brand exposure, 63 million pounds from shirt sales. Um, reach the knockout stage of the Champions League. Um, finish in a Champions League space. And then reach the round of 16 stage long term. Win the league title within two seasons. So they want us to win this next season. And that's what we're also looking for as well. And then there are no financial objectives at all. So what we should do is grab ourselves a youth staff member here, hire a scout. Which one are we looking at? This guy right here. And we will send him to France because I believe this is the only one we're going to do. So we might as well send him to the home country and see if he can find out and find any kids. So let's go forward. We're going to skip on through, see if one... We can add some funds via this tournament here. We should be able to at least get out of this group. As an offer has come in, Monaco have made an offer for Gabriel for $15 million. Um, I don't want to go at that just yet. It's important that we get three players in, in those spots. Um, let's see if we can delegate this. This is probably... Let's see if we can get just a little bit more without causing them to back off just a little bit every penny here is important so let's go ahead and sim this game against atlanta see if we can grab ourselves another win a 2-1 victory marcel is hurt and i hope that's not super serious because i'd like to move him on um transfer offer for yang and biwa again injury three days that's good and another offer we're going to delegate this one as well we'll just start it there that's all right hopefully they don't back off it and let's get some development going we really want to get these kids in a good spot Kakare gets really good everybody here gets really good there are some really really good young kids here really really good and hopefully we can turn them into something special in our two years here at Leon Found all I can. Interest shown in Trincao. A loan deal. That's disappointing as well. But an offer is coming for Raphael. 7 million. 
Let's delegate this one back out to 10. It's probably a bit high, but we'll see what they say. But should bring in another 10 million here. Trinkau's a really good player. A loan offer for Geary is not happening. We want him here to, to get a couple games here, perhaps, and as well, you know, have him training around the first team, get his training going in that sense. Now, can we win this? I believe if even if we didn't win, we were on into the next round. Our with the goal. A bit later than I would have liked, but it happened in the end. An offer is coming from Marcel. Five million. Transfer offer for Lopez, no chance. Agreement for Yang and Biwa from Brescia. That's probably where we're going to go. The Brescia one. We'll accept the Brescia. And we'll see what happens. Offer comes in from Marcel for five million here. Let's delegate this a little bit up to 8.4. And then Lopez, we're just going to flat out reject. He will not be going anywhere. But if we can get, you know, it looks like we're going to get 12 ish million for the two fullbacks, 15 ish total, perhaps, or right around that spot. For those three players, that is a pretty good haul, I think. As the scout reports have finally come back on everything, offers coming from Benfica for Marcel for 6 million. And Arsenal at bid for Triori, who will not be going anywhere. So this one, I'm going to delegate as well. Though I worry about what, that one. We're going to reject that. And this one on Yang and Biwa. I don't want to reject that just in case something happens with Brescia. Because he is on quite a little bit of wages, really. And I worry about the idea that he could kind of reject a contract there. But let's take a look at what we have in terms of transfers and what we want to do. So, transfer hub here. Gabriel is off the table now. He is moved to Monaco. And then Trincao is still around. So, um, and Buemo won't move. That's a bit of a shame because I think he was the one I was looking at. Is Trincao next? I think Trincao would be next there. Kanate... Zuma's worth a lot. That's kind of disappointing. And then Oliveira and Tagliafico. Wow, Tagliafico would be worth a ton of money. So at the moment, I'm thinking Oliveira, Konate, and Trincao. If we can get all those, if it, it was if it were max between 13 and 19. So 19 in theory, and then Konate with another, you know, that'd be around 48 ish, and then. 62 total we'll see if we can get a little bit less but we're gonna go with uh matthias Oliveira, um and we'll see if we can get him for as cheap as possible we also have wages to consider but i think we're gonna go below the wage bit let's offer a transfer fee we'll start with nine let's see what they say they want 12 with a sell-on clause of 15. We're going to counter that and just lower the this a little bit. See if we can go for 11. They can have the 15 sell-on clause. They want 11.7. I think that's pretty good. We're going to get it just above his little market value there. He can also play on the left side of midfield if we need him to, which is a pretty good option to have at the moment as well. Squad role important. I'll accept that because he is probably going to be the starter. Let's go with a five-year contract. He's currently on 13k a week. Disregard release clause. What does he want? If I go 20. Is that good? Are you comfortable with that? He wants 21 plus the appearance thing there. That's pretty good. 21,000 a week or 21,500 a week for the left back and that is a pretty good buy i feel relatively cheap as well i mean we're gonna go marcel and then five million pounds by the looks of it for Oliveira. that is a pretty decent swap i'm very very comfortable with that and we have a new left back in matthias Oliveira will be the new left back here and that is obviously something we like to see so next I want to go and go center back. And I think Kanate is the one. 
I really do. Zuma's a bit too expensive for me. I don't rate him super, super highly. We're going to go with Kanate. Bring him back to France. See if we can grab ourselves a really good center back as well in the making here. Offer a transfer fee. We'll start with 20. They were looking between 19 and 28, and they only want 20 and a half plus the sell-on clause, and we'll take that. So it looks like we might get, be able to get all of our players in that we were looking at there. That's 10 million less than what they were aiming in between for as well. That's a really, really good buy, I think. Um, do I dare go rotation? He wants to be important. That's all right. That's all right. Always try and get as low as you can on that. That or that way players aren't unhappy if they just don't have a run in the team necessarily. Accept no release clause. And then a wage. He's on 30,000 a week. Give him a little bit of a raise. A little bit of a signing bonus. And he's comfortable with that. 35k a week. We've done really well here. We have done really, really well here. Let's go to, let's see if we can get Trincao in as well. We might be able to get all three of our players in and still have a little bit of money left over. I'm not sure if we, if we're gonna spend it or anything like that, but this is pretty good stuff here. Let's see. Start with 13. See what they say. They want 15.2. I'm just gonna let it happen. 15.2 is a good price for Francisco Trincao, who's off to Barca in real life or a Barca player already one of those players they just spent money on because they were looking for a winger rotation is he comfortable he wants important as well that's all right that's all right five-year deal they all want important whether I'm gonna be able to or not is you know is what it is no release clause and he wants 28k a week we're just going to accept it. And now we have all the players we were looking for, and we bought them all in. I was trying to get Embuemo from Brentford, but he had just joined, and that is sort of a shame, but we have bought ourselves in some really, really good players here. So let's get Kanate here. Do I want to bring him in front of Anderson? We'll, we'll try it for now. And then Trincao, who we are going to move forward here. Who do we want to move them ahead of? Is any one of these players leaving? Hmm. What do we want to do here? Mendez, maybe? I think my thing with Mendez is he's a good player. But um, I'm not so sure at 27 he's going to... I kind of want to grow the younger players, that's all. So having him around is obviously a good thing to have around but it's not someone i'm going to play all the time i want to grow these younger players so this is what the team looks like at the moment and this is what it looks like we're going to go into the year with dembele terrier and then depai triore gameris Awar, dubois kanate denier Oliveira, and then lopez and gall and a pretty decent bench as well some good players in the reserve area also so a good spot a good team we've got here and we're going to jump forward, and we're also going to play our first game today. So let's jump forward as well. But we also look like we're going to get a couple things in. An offer is coming for Rafael for Celta. Um, Marcel's not going anywhere. 8.2. We're just going to agree this for Betis. Or Betis. Let's accept that one there. And Yang and Biwa is currently negotiating. So it looks like... Everyone but Marcel is going to be leaving. Let's see if we can grab a couple extra dollars here. I'm not super, super concerned. I just don't want any injuries. Looks like we are good there. Bit of prize money. Let's just sim this game against Sociedad before we jump into our Monaco game. Marcel, it looks like it. There it is, 7.6. We're comfortable with that. Raphael... He's on it, Yang and Biwa. It looks like he's going to accept the, the Brescia one, right? 
Um, what is this? Who's pulled out? Oh, AZ. Oh, we didn't receive a response. Fair enough. Fair enough, but Cornet will not be going anywhere. So a pretty decent haul we're going to get here. We're going to have like 15-ish million left over in the end, I feel. And we'll see if we move on or if you guys are interested in, you know, having other players bought in or not. But I think we're in a good spot to go into the new year with a pretty decent team as we win our friendly tournament as well. So let's jump forward and get into the Monaco game. All right, here we are, ready to jump into the new game, or into our first game. And uh, a couple players have left. As you can see, Yang and Biwa finally left. I had to agree with four different teams before he finally left. Marcel left as well, and uh, uh, Raphael left as well. So this is the budget we're looking at, 27 million plus 26K in weekly wage budget. We can probably up that a little bit, probably be closer to that. I'm not really looking in to bring any... I'm not looking to bring in any other players, but, you know, if you guys have any suggestions, we may look at them later on. But let's jump into this. The first team is ready to go. Everybody's fit. Everybody's ready to roll. So, Monaco, Leon, first game of the year. Let's go. Can we win it here? We can. Nicely done. If we can play it up the pitch. Here's Terrier. And he is racing away here. And we've got a couple of men forward. And Terrier is going to do it all on his own by the looks of it. He cuts back inside. Brilliant from Terrier. Oh, it's 1-0. And what a start here inside 10 minutes. Martin Terrier gives us a 1-0 lead on opening day. A brilliant run there. Held off his man, and he looked for a moment like he'd get caught. But he kept on rolling. He was waiting for something to open up. It never really did. And he just cut back inside. And a lovely finish into that top corner. And an early lead here, 1-0. Here comes Keita Balde, Aguilar. Ooh, can't quite get a touch onto that. Nicely played. It's good football here right through the gap, and it's a good hit. It's 1-1. Monaco have pulled it back here. Lovely finish as well. Lovely, lovely finish. I thought we got in the way. Didn't quite happen. And that's Adrian Silva, I believe. It's a good turn in here. It's good football. Yeah, it's just a good run, good space. A good hit as well. And he levels it up for them. And on 25 minutes, that's 1-1. One, one. Clipped in on the corner. Can we get a header on? Not quite. Comes out to Terrier. Nice play across. One more brilliant football. This Triore too. And we weren't level for long, were we? Bertrand Triore. A couple bids so far this summer, including from Arsenal. But here he is scoring his first goal at Leon of the year. It's a good finish as well, but it's a really good bit of play. As that gets clipped along, he runs into that space and then just hammers it past the goalkeeper. And we retake the lead here on a half hour, 2-1. It's good football here. Oh, it's clipped into a really good space. Free header, 2-2. And the opening day game looks like it's going to be back and forth. It's a header for Ben Yedder. I meant that. I meant that rhyme. I meant to do that. I was waiting for him to score the whole time so I can say that. I'm so glad he did it with his head. Ben Yedder gives Monaco a second. And once again, we're level. So that gets clipped in and just doesn't make the right run, does he? Dubois. Ben Yedder gets to the right place. Dubois doesn't. And right before halftime on 42 minutes, Monaco have leveled it here. Fabregas. Oh, I tried to cut back inside of that space. It's a good ball in there. What a save. Needed to be as well from Lopez. A humongous save as they work their way around. Really good football from Monaco. Really not so great. At the moment, we're struggling to get the ball out of the back. It's a good tackle. Oh, we can't quite get that out of there. As that gets played in, is he offside? He isn't. Thought we played him offside. It didn't happen. We're really struggling to just hold on to the ball for just a second here. Out wide here. Can we play it forward? We can. There's a little bit of space. Actually, plenty of space here. And Dembele's in all sorts of space. And Dembele, there it is. A counter-attacking goal. Dembele with it. 
and we've retaken the lead here with 15 minutes to go. That is a great counterattack, but Monaco, as I said, been dominating the game. But we find the space on the break. They just put too many men forward. We held off and then hit them on the counter. It's a great break. And Dembele has his first goal of the season. It's 3-2 here, 15 minutes to go. Can we come away with an opening day win? Can't quite win it there. Jorge blocked off him one more. It gets forward to Rodney Adelaide, and we are racing forward here. Gets out wide to Trincao now. Cuts back inside, played across. Out wide, here's Terrier. And he's going to go for goal and forces a decent save. That didn't quite open up like I would have liked it to on that break. As it comes to Denier, ooh, what a save. <laughs> Brilliantly done by the center back to take that down on his chest and have a go at goal. That gets clipped in, get a header onto it. I can't believe he stood offside there that whole time, Depay. Yeah, you. But there's a minute and a half to go. We just need to hold on here. As that gets clipped forward, get a head onto it. Here's Awar, back into Depay, nicely done. It's Depay here. We slip it back to Depay, we can. It's looking for a bit of an opening. We're also looking to just kill a little bit of time. As that comes to Depay again. Can we get that out there? We can. It's Trincao. And Trincao steps inside, slips it in. We eventually lose it, but it looks like we are going to come away with the three points on opening day. A big three points away to Monaco is a very, very good result. 3-2 in the end. Very tightly contested. Look for a while there that like we might go behind, but we'll take it. We'll take it relatively even, as you can see, but a very, very important win for us. As we start the season off with a victory here over um, over Monaco there. But we are into the season. The season has started. We've got new signings in at the club. It's a very, very big moment in time for this club. And hopefully we can drag them through the next two seasons to a couple of trophies, guys. But we're going to end it here next episode. What are we going to be doing next episode? What is going to be happening? I believe we are going to be doing, yes, yeah, Angers. And then we will do Montpellier. And then I believe Bordeaux and Amiens. Whichever one is the worst team will sim as well. And we'll get those four done and dusted. We'll do deadline day as well. But I'm not really expecting anything crazy to happen here. Unless some absurd bids comes in. Kind of like we had last time when a bid from PSG for a Tarn came in and really got we had to sell we just we just had to there was no choice unless one of those bids comes in you know we won't be doing anything guys but that is going to be it I hope you folks of course have enjoyed it stay tuned for more and peace